Quill starts her soul stretching session with smoke cleansing. Nothing like good old rosemary smoke to set the vibe. Get ready to unlock deeper flexibility and experience a release of emotional tension, which is often stored in the hips. Let's begin in Varasana. Begin to take your seated torso circles to mobilize the spine, release tension in the lower back, and to gently open the hips. This movement is meant to balance the sacral chakra, encouraging creativity and fluidity. It also helps to release any stagnant energy that is located in the lower back and hips. What can be getting down with my bad self? Then we bring the focus back to breath, inhale the arms out and up, reach as tall as you can, then cactus your elbows, shoulder blades touch, re-extend your arms for a big breath, and then slowly bring it down to heart center. Moving on to tabletop, check to see how your hamstrings are feeling. With your toes together, knees slightly apart, start to sway back and forth. And if blocks are needed for extra assistance, just to lift the earth up a little bit closer, that's always a great option. Another variation is to place your forearms onto the block. This just gives you the extra support you need if your wrists are truly hurting. So when you're ready to get into your full child's pose, toes together, knees apart or slightly apart, mat width apart, begin to crawl your hands forward until you can rest your belly onto the mat. Y'all could stay here for a few more breaths, but if you'd like to transition into yin yoga, make sure you are absolutely comfortable where you're at. You should feel no pain no pulling, no tension. If by chance you do, go ahead and ease out of it. Get to a spot where you're comfortable and begin to breathe. Go ahead and soften your eyelids, unhinge your jaw, begin to settle in, and take a big inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, Five, four, three, two, one. Last full breath. Gently press yourself back up. After an intense hip opener, we're going to come up to our feet to Tadasana. This pose helps to cultivate stillness and serenity and also helps people feel rooted and grounded. Extend your arms, take a big inhale, reach, and then exhale, forward fold. Knees could be bent or straight for this position. Since we are going to transition to ragdoll, just notice how you're feeling in your lower body. If you need extra support, grab your blocks. Since this inverted position encourages blood flow to go to the head, this gentle inversion supports the flow of prana throughout the body, helping to clear energy blocks and balance the chakras, particularly the root and the sacral chakra. One more full breath here. Carefully make your way down to the floor, left foot forward, right foot back. Make the proper adjustments you need to hold low lunge for several breaths. To start off, you want your right hip to be over your knee. The hips and the shoulders are going to be squared to the frontage of the mat. Depending on your level of flexibility, you may or may not need the blocks. I'm going to put them to the side for now so I can show you what not to do with your front knee. If you can, avoid bringing your knee past your ankle. To correct this, you can slowly inch your foot forward to a more comfortable position. This will leave you in a wider stance and the ability to bring your knee over your ankle. When you find your lizard pose, figure out if you need extra blocks for the support. Since we're going to put a little bit of yin to our yoga, try to avoid dumping into the right hip. You want to keep your hips square to the front edge of the mat as possible. Once you find your alignment, we're going to sink into lizard by either bringing our forearms down to the ground or placing them on top of blocks. Remember, we are conditioning our hips for the split, so it's important that you pay attention to everything your body is telling you. You can see my right hip is still trying to come down, so I'm going to slide a block underneath my right thigh and then slowly settle in. When you are comfortable enough to breathe, Hang out here. Begin to take big inhales through your nose, maybe lengthen your spine. And then exhale, release, let go, just get a little bit deeper. And then after a little bit, see what it's like to remove the block and then take a big inhale, lengthen through your spine. And on your exhale, gently forward fold, getting a little bit closer to the ground with your torso. Right thigh is reaching towards the mat. Maybe you'll get in the mood for a twist or a hamstring stretch where you take your right heel to your booty. Open up through your left shoulder, take your gaze to the sky, gently let go of your foot, tuck the toes, and then we're going to transition to a half split, sending your booty towards your right heel. An extension through your left leg, flex into your left foot. Here we go with our block. If you're hypermobile like me, you'll maybe find that you overextend your joints a lot. Always micro bend your knee. Keep the left foot flexed, press the left heel down towards the ground, toes are facing the ceiling. Let's move. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, torso to thigh or knee to nose. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. A deeper version of half split is to take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. This is great for conditioning your joints if you're a runner, if you're working on splits, if you're a dancer. But make sure to always listen to your body. This could get intense, so take your time. Coming back to center, using the blocks, inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale forward fold your next breath gently press yourself up begin to bend your left knee transitioning to lizard let's start by making this dynamic inhale the shoulders back chest forward exhale half split send it back again like that inhale halfway lift exhale bring it forward to lizard inhale chest forward exhale send it back half split maybe use a block this time inhale halfway lift exhale forward to lizard inhale shoulders back exhale send it back half split inhale halfway lift exhale lizard beautiful hold it right here let's see what the splits look like start to inch the left foot forward take your time and if you're ready just go right into it make sure to check in with yourself notice how you're feeling since our kick pose is mermaid splits only if easily accessible bring your right heel towards your booty this is a bit of a balance and shoulder mobility challenge if you're a pro at mermaid and or splits this should be relatively easier for you so once you get your toes to the inside of your elbow and in your hand behind your head clasping your fingers. For the full position, look up towards the sky, point and flex the toes to the extended leg, and then with ease, slowly let go of the leg. Now start to slowly bend your left leg. Try and get the shin parallel to the front edge of your mat. If needed support, you can use blocks under your hands or your hips to lower into the pose. This is your chance to recheck in, see how you're feeling, and let the earth hold you here. And then slowly start to press yourselves up, tuck the right toes, transition to your down dog. Now take a pedal of your heel, stretch out your hamstrings, and then let's meet in a Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, the knees are nice and wide. I'm going to give you some options on how to deepen this posture. If you want to get really deep, bring the heels closer to your pelvis, sit up nice and tall, or you can bring blocks underneath both knees. Or you can sit on the block and then bring a block underneath your ankles, allowing your knees to drop off to the side. Or just leave the block underneath your ankles. Once in a comfortable stance, hold onto your feet. Make sure to draw your heels closer to your pelvis. And then we're going to inhale to sit up nice and tall for a big, big breath. And then on your exhale, you're going to gently start to forward fold. Allow your torso, your chest to touch your feet. Maybe extend your arms long on the mat. This is a beautiful way to bow down to Pachamama, Mother Earth. If you're looking for a little bit deeper, remove the block. And then just do your full Baddha Konasana with a forward fold. Crawling the hands forward. You have the option to stay here or when you're ready, come back up. Extend your legs in front of you. Take out your leg. Point and flex through your toes just to get the blood flowing back into your limbs. Huge inhale. Raise your arms to the sky. Then exhale. Swan dive forward fold. Stretch out your back body, finding a release and calming of the mind. You can find full-length videos like this or more witchy yoga sessions on my Sankalpa Yoga Flow channel on YouTube. 